We're at Oswater 2021. Joining me right now, we've got Charles Couchy, a metallurgist with over 30 years experience. Chuck, do you mm -hmm. want to introduce yourself a bit and introduce what we're showing off at the stand this year? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Ben. Uh, welcome everyone to Oswater. As Ben just said, uh, my name is uh, Charles. I've been working with uh, the company uh, for well over 30 years, but uh, you know, in breaking that down, three years with uh, Reese. Uh, prior to that, Viadux, and before that, um, I worked for a company called uh, Tyco, uh, where I was uh, uh, working in production management and uh, uh, and looking after the uh, quality of the uh, products that we manufactured, which was these ductile iron pipes. But of course, these days uh, we import these um, from overseas. So uh, let me take you through, I guess, what we've got on display here at Oswater uh, today. Um, this is our brand new uh, range of Dymax ductile iron pipe. Uh, in particular, this, uh, this pipe that we've got here um, is a uh, ductile iron pipe for uh, transport of water, um, uh, drainage water and also recycled water. Um, the pipe's got a um, standard sulphate resisting cement lining, um, externally it's uh, coloured blue and underneath that, uh, that blue epoxy coating you'll find a uh, zinc aluminium alloy which is enriched with uh, rare earth metals. So it is quite a unique uh, coating and, and enables this ductile iron pipe to be buried in the ground without the requirement for polyethylene sleeving in most, uh, in most soils. Uh, when I say in most soils, it means that uh, I guess uh, for our customers, what we're doing is we provide a, a service, which is to um, complete some soil testing, check to make sure that the soil is actually uh, compatible with the uh, pipe, because in the end it's all around, you know, the customer's asset and design life and we're looking for a design life here of 100 years and to do that we need to make sure that um, you know the soils are, are compatible so we do some checks um, that we can carry out ourselves but a little bit more about the pipe itself uh, as i mentioned we've got our blue pipe here it's called uh, dymax uh, titan xl um, we also have in the range our titan extreme and titan exceed what's the difference between all those ones yeah, so uh, Titan XL, which is the blue pipe, uh, we use it for potable water. It's got the uh, standard cement lining. The Titan Extreme uh, is a red pipe. It still has the zinc aluminium uh, uh, alloy uh, protective coating on the outside, but internally it's got a calcium aluminate cement lining, and that allows the pipe to be able to transport uh, uh, sewer and wastewater. It's got a much higher resistance to uh, acidic attack, so it can handle um, uh, pHs right down to pH of 4. Um, and finally the Titan Exceed, which is a black pipe. Uh, the big difference with that pipe is internally it's lined with a polyurethane. Uh, that polyurethane can handle not only uh, potable water, it's uh, AS4020 approved for uh, contact with potable water, but it, it can also handle sewer uh, and pH is right down to pH of 1, which is, uh, which is a really, a really wide range uh, of uh, fluids that it can handle. So it's a pipe that can basically uh, you know, be used for anything. Uh, we're also keeping those in stock these days in flange class, so we can also get them flanged, which is uh, really handy. Can you tell me a little bit the, about the joining system that uh, Dymax uses? Yeah, absolutely. So Dymax uses uh, you know, the Titan uh, jointing system, hence we call it the, Dy uh, the Dymax Titan pipe. Um, so we've got a couple of uh, rubber rings here, standard rubber ring inside the pipe with the uh, Titan profile. Keeping in mind that you know, Titan is a, is, is, a, is a brand name that we've been using for many years, all, it dates all the way back to 1962 when we first started producing you know, uh, uh, Titan sockets uh, in Australia, um, in Yonora, uh, and we continue that, uh, you know, that name all the way through to today. So our standard Titan rubber ring is capable of uh, greater than PN35 pressure, so this is a standard PN35 pipe. But if it was a flange class pipe, you know, the PN rating of those is PN48. Again, the Titan ring can handle that kind of pressure, no issues. Uh, the great thing as well is we've also got this rubber ring, which is a, uh, what we call a Titan lock rubber ring. Basically transforms our socket connection to a restrained socket connection. So in the case where you've got a uh, condensed uh, trench uh, with other services, um, and you're not able to physically get thrust blocks in place, uh, we can remove those thrust blocks and replace them with one of these uh, one of these rings. Keeping in mind that the pressure is limited uh, with our Titan Lock uh, gasket to PN16. So that's just one of the restrictions. Uh, another thing to mention as well is our Titan rubber rings uh, are, are generally EPDM. That's what, uh, that's what most uh, water authorities require. 
but in a situation where we may have uh, oil in ingress, so maybe polluted grounds with uh, hydrocarbons or um, you know waste oils in the in, in the in the fluids that we're transporting, and we also have these uh, available in NBR or nitrile. So I know we offer something called Century Plus. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely, Ben. So um, you know part of our offer, and you know we don't just uh, you know bring in products and uh, you know, sell them to our customers. We're absolutely a service company. So part of, part of the offer is, uh, is, uh, is obviously our soil testing and as well as uh, Century Plus, which is our, um, which is our handling and installation uh, training that we provide for uh, you know, the complete system, which is the valves, the, um, you know, the, uh, the fittings and also the pipe. Um, yeah, and it covers everything from you know, bringing the, uh, the pipes to site, how to prepare the site, how to unload the pipes uh, safely, putting them together and getting them in the ground. And not only that, it also covers the quality management system uh, you know, for, for achieving that, that installation. And quite often, you know, uh, con contractors are asked you know, by water authorities to provide you know, evidence that they've got a quality management system you know, in place for installation of uh, you know, different types of pipeline systems. And this is basically a quality, quality installation uh, management system that we can hand over to the contractors uh, to enable them to you know, you know, pick up work and tenders.